keeps this thing on. It's this thing on here. Yo, peep, peep the view. What's up, world? What's up, cyberspace? What's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody out there in the world? This your boy, Crypto Bruh, coming back again with another video. It's been a while since I had a Zen talk about me just giving you guys my thoughts on Zen and how I think it's going. So I decided to pick a different scenery for this video because your, your boy is collecting his thoughts, um, life thoughts, career thoughts, business goals, shit, self goals. Think about all that stuff, man. 23, a year of reflection. So we're reflecting right now here at the Imperial Beach, uh, San Diego, you know what I'm saying? Uh, beautiful morning out here. But like I was saying though, um, yeah, Zen, man. Zen is going great. Still, five months later, this is the fourth thought video and I couldn't be more happy with the progress of this project, yo. And in, uh, in all of my years of crypto, I've never experienced something like the Zen Effect. Now, the Zen Effect is in effect <laughs> because it happens on all the chains that Zen is on. You, it's like you can see into the future with this coin because whatever is gonna happen on another chain more than likely will be replicated on another chain. And all of it is, is not on Ethereum, which makes it even better. It like shows you how big the globe or the industry of cryptocurrency is and really where we're going uh, in these next four to five years. Like, it's beautiful, man. It's, it's, it's one of the coolest things to be a part of, let's be honest. <laughs> like, there's not a lot of cryptocurrencies that you can find yourself chilling at, you know? Uh, cryptocurrencies are a brand. Their statement, their what do you call it? Uh, you know, their their social economical tools to help people gain uh, value, whatever your value is, whether it's digital artifacts, digital property, um, you know, uh, ego. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you feel like makes you happy. Um, you know, just like a hobby, right? Everybody has different hobbies in this planet. So everybody's gonna like different cryptos and have different envisions of how crypto brings them pleasure and things like that. So um, yeah, for me, that's what Zen is bringing. Zen is bringing the Zen, y'all. Like a, like a monk sitting on the side of a mountain. Uh, that's pretty much me right now. But yeah, with Zen, uh, caps, uh, the total supplies are fucking blowing my mind. Like. I love AVAX Zen, that's my favorite Zen. Um, and it's crazy too, like, the first two videos, or first, excuse me, three videos of me talking about Zen, it was really about like, trying to figure out how to win the game. But now, in this new future, it's all about how I play the game. Playing the game is winning the game in Zen. So as long as you're playing the game, there's no way you can lose, right? Because you're gonna be ahead of everyone else. Zen is also about time and delayed gratification. Um, similar to you like going to college, knowing that you're gonna delay, you know, the bag <laughs> so that you can get a piece of paper to get the bag. Um, having that type of respect for yourself and respect for time, that right there, that's a, that's a game changer. <laughs> so I'm playing the game to change the game, not to win the game. Um, the game's already been won, right? Just getting your feet wet and understanding the knowledge is, is winning the game. And being really confident about how you move in the game is winning the game. And knowing how to fucking play the game is winning the game. So AVAX Zen is my favorite in the ecosystem. My second favorite is gonna be Moonbeam. Um, really, I gravitated to these two chains because nobody was minting on them. So it gave me more opportunity uh, to, uh, you know, get into the ecosystem a little bit more aggressively because that's really what I wanted. I want to be aggressively in Zen. I don't want to just be in Zen. I need a lot of Zen from all the chains. And all that shit to me is one bag of Zen. So however we get into the bag of Zen, we're using all the chains, man. And 
Like I said, I'm comfortable, y'all. I got my ETH, my ETH Zen coming through. I'm still minting on ETH Zen. Um, strategy changed a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm going harder on the other nine chains. Uh, but on ETH Zen, um, I'm watching the price. I'm seeing we're starting to bottom out. But I've been saying this, y'all. Y'all heard me in the spaces. I feel like we are really at the bottom when we see uh, ETH Zen uh, start having more penalties. So more and more people not claiming the Zen that they spent gas on. Uh, when we get that metric into this reality, I think we're gonna really see a nice bottom signal. Uh, you know, this isn't financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. You already know this is your boy Crypto Bro, aka More World Peace, the DJ slash producer, chilling right now. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. So this is why I'm saying, if you, you know, are looking for a bottom, you should be watching the penalties. <laughs> you should be watching those penalties and seeing uh, people capitulate on the idea that, uh, you know, Zen isn't real. I would, I'm, I'm a, I'm an, I cannot wait to laugh at these motherfuckers, dude. It's gonna be like 2025. Um, I see Zen extremely stable um, in 25. That's why I'm doing thousand day stakes because most of your stakes are gonna end uh, in the year 2025. So um, give yourself some time. Like I said, delay that gratification. Yeah, we know uh, 2025 is two years away, but like I said, man, life is about progression. It's about the journey. I'm out here right now. I'm on a journey right now. But yeah, life's about a journey. No shrooms, no acid. It's just about you gathering as much information <laughs> as you can and digital artifacts because, you know, life is really about finding jewels, gems, and artifacts, um, but that's that physical shit. So on some digital shit, Life's about finding them digital artifacts. That's why the uh, Bitcoin ordinals are pretty cool, man. Trevon got me into them shits. Got me buying Bitcoin for no fucking reason. But you got to participate, man. If you ain't playing the game or if you ain't in the game, you ain't winning the game. The way to win the game is to play the game. It's literally that simple. Man, I wore the wrong fucking shoes. For the sand. But yeah, yo, those are my quick thoughts on Zen Crypto. Like I said, I'm extremely excited for Zen Crypto. I think the next two years of Zen Crypto are going to be some of the best years of cryptocurrency. We've already reached pretty much the bottom, man. What else can happen? The last thing that can, it's like, if you think about cryptocurrency and you think about the uh, bottom signals, like what, the last bottom signal is gonna be Gary Gensler saying that crypto's banned in America or some shit. Like what the fuck else can this man say to scare you? He's a noob, dog. That man is a noob. So we ain't afraid of the SEC, so we still asking the question. How much lower can it go? You know what I'm saying? Only people selling are people that don't get it. Like crypto is the easiest thing to get at this point. Like, please have some hopium. Add that shit to your repertoire. Don't be afraid of it. It's okay to think outside the box. That's what hopium basically is. Thinking outside of the box. <laughs> Yo, this guy's getting it. Let's go. But yeah, man, I'm about to tune out. I got some ish to do today. Yesterday was my birthday. So today we chilling, we enjoying. Uh, this world that we live on and yeah I just wanted to share my thoughts I was like yo I got a beautiful outside right now what a better place to share my thoughts than right here with the beauty of outside but yeah man um, make sure you hit that follow button like subscribe follow me on twitter crypto bro with three h's because it's all about that brah um yeah follow me on twitter say what's up i'm dropping mad zen tweets because i fuck with zen you can call me a maxi if you want i just like love cryptocurrency and i just can understand it man and i understand that zen is bringing crypto back shit fuck crypto been falling off dude this shit been around for so long 
and it's coming back stronger than ever make your own coins make your own coins that's what, that's what zen is really about don't get the fud fucked up man i think that's the part that i think everybody got to understand about zen zen is about creating your own coins creating your own self-custody if everybody else want to put other cryptos tied to it because the other cryptos want to have value the other cryptos were de were designed and deployed or distributed so that everybody involved has value and that's why they give more of it to a team right like a ethereum foundation has more ethereum than you um, right like avax foundation has more avax than you and that's always how it's going to be because they're designing they're creating they deserve to have more than you they deserve it but there should be a coin there should be a coin that's barely distributed uh gives the user the ability of having self-custody with no middleman so we could do a peer-to-peer -peer exchange strictly using the blockchain and there's actually 11 blockchains that you can use to go p to p it's also got the burn mechanism which allows people to have ibo's internet uh uh initial burn offering which is a whole new way of doing an ico which is an initial coin offering right everything is ico everything everything in crypto is an ico even fucking bitcoin was an ico because satoshi mined bitcoins before everybody else could so he ico bitcoin to himself where the fuck is satoshi at man man nakamoto where are you at? Where's Satoshi at, man? He ain't here, though. But I can still, you know, I can get some. Nakamoto! Just kidding. But yeah, man, this is why fucking Zen is the people's coin. All right? You just get some gas, you get some blockchain, and you mint it. And if all of that shit sounds very mysterious to you, let's get some, let's get that education going, okay? You need some Zenucation. You need to have my guy Zinsu to let you know what you really need, <laughs> which is a blockchain. You can use the most popular blockchain is Ethereum. I like Avalanche though, because the fees are cheaper and the A chain is available on Coinbase. I also like Moonbeam. Those are my two. I keep saying it. Those are my two. I like the cross chain functionalities of Moonbeam because of the polka dot infrastructure. It gives them bigger and brighter ideas. It fucks a dot. Dot is cool. Um, hoping to get into EMOS. I don't really know much about Cosmo Community. Um, Cosmo Community, you've made yourself really hard to discover. Just so you guys know, like, I cannot find shit. I don't know who's the hits over there. Who are your one-hit wonders? Bring them to the front, please. Um, yeah, where the fuck is Satoshi at? Where is Satoshi? Where is Satoshi? Where is Nakamoto? That nigga is gone. He don't exist. But Jack Levin exists. And they'll tell you that he's a scammer or some dumb shit. Like, what the fuck? This man built the internet, basically. <laughs> Made the architectural, infrastructural information. And just put them all together. But that's what he did. They try and call this man a scammer. Sucks for them. But yeah, man, I'm signing out. Zen to the moon. Mint your own coins. No middleman. No counterparty risk. Just crypto. Just a whole lot of hopium. Bitch.